Hey guys, welcome to Informatica Power Center Workflow Manager. Previously, we discussed in detail about Informatica Power Center Designer Screen. We created sources, targets, transformations, and a complete flow known as mapping. The next aspect of our code is to execute our mapping. That way, we get the data from source to target. This would be made possible by Informatica Power Center Workflow Manager Screen. Basically, Workflow Manager contains a set of instructions which we define as Workflow. The basic building blocks of Workflow are tasks. As we have multiple transformations in the Designer screen, we have multiple tasks in the Workflow Manager. When you create a Workflow, you add tasks into the Workflow. Do so per your requirement and execute Workflow to see status in the Monitor screen. We'll take a look at it later. As already discussed, Previously, Informatica Power Center Designer is divided into five sections. Similarly, Workflow Manager is also divided into multiple sections. They are Toolbar, Navigator, Workspace, Control Panel, and Status Bar. That's where Ready is written. The sections are exactly similar to the sections present in Designer. Moving ahead, as in Designer, you get five tabs to work on various sources, targets, transformations, maplets, and mappings. In Workflow Manager, you get three tabs to work and create the workflow. The three tabs are Task Developer and Workflow Designer. With Task Developer, you could create different types of tasks. In Informatica Power Center, we've been provided with 10 different types of tasks, which can be created from here. A task can also be created directly from Workflow Designer, from Tasks tab. We'll check that out in a little while. Workled Designer is a group of reusable tasks, which can be used multiple times in Workflow. Finally, Workflow Designer. We could create workflow and add multiple tasks and worklets in Workflow Designer. In this video, we understood various aspects of the Workflow Manager screen.